Hey, walking here. Trucks from New York, you'll totally get that without being offended. Picked this truck up a couple weeks ago. It's actually a really well thought out kind of truck. It's got some nice taste to it. Tires and wheels, slight leveling kit, mixed with the Bradford bed. Rhino liner covering up the rust on the rockers. It actually is a sharp looking truck. It's probably one of my favorites that I picked up just as kind of a whim that uh, the price was almost right and I talked it down to something that made sense and picked it up. Thing was not running at the time. You saw the last video. The rust is in the rockers. I need to replace those and the oil pan. I've never seen an oil pan rust out, but I hit it with a pressure washer, you know, on destroy mode and it beamed a hole right through it. Leaked all the oil into a bucket. Caught it all, not one drop was missed. But anyway, I figured if I bought this truck at the very least for the price that I paid for it, I can make it work because it's got a pretty much brand new Bradford bed on the back. Those things turn a pretty good dollar and I actually already have it sold. Made a deal with one of my buddies up north and I think the deal is pretty good for both of us. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull that off. I'm gonna put a regular bed on it, I know. I just said it looked good all together. The Bradford bed's not gonna add any value to this truck if I try to sell it, just as not. But if I take it off there and put another stock pickup bed on there, the value is gonna remain the same as if it would if the bed was on it or it's a regular bed. Also, I don't know if the tires and wheels are really gonna be worth anything to me, but they're not gonna add anything to the next guy, so I put a set of stockers on there. Yeah, we're starting to part this thing out. I did not, who does that? I don't. Let's get the Kubota. Had to run the grid heater on my impact this morning. She was frozen up. Ask me this. Have you guys had trouble with your Milwaukee batteries? Because I got good Milwaukee name brands and I've got the knockoff ones and all of them do not last. I got Makita batteries, freaking eight years old that are still going. But the Milwaukee's only last like a year. What's the deal with that? Let's see if I can get up in here. We got one last big bolt. I really like how they didn't use any gold bolts holding this on here. That's nice. Oh, looks like it's lowering. Wrong size. Well, unfortunately, it appears that one is actually holding the back of the bed up. Front one has got two bolts going downwards that are welded in. So let's go get a couple tie downs in the Kubota. Maybe a couple extra tie downs so we don't hit the cab that's already injured. You know what I mean? Poor thing. Where's that tie down at? Let's see if I can get lucky and find at least one, maybe three. Need a couple more than that though. And I, uh, I broke this one, so it's got a customed. It's real nice. Oh, I think I might snag up one more tie down. Go across the front just to be safe. Normally, I only do this with two tie downs. I got three on there now. Yeah, we'll just throw the whole thing. <laughs> Everything that can possibly hook onto this thing, did it twice right here. I decided to do something I don't approve of. It's acting hesitant. What are you doing? I keep there's a wire. It's a flat tire. Yeah. This looks like a prying device. Let's try this. I bet my prying device. You going down now, sucker? Where are you? At? Yep. Pick up a little bit more, and then I'm gonna back her up. Let's 
see anything else like that. Hope not. Seems to be actually clear. How's it looking over there? Is it clear? Okay. I guess that bed weighs a lot. That clear four wheel. No bad issue. Here, your brain seems to be okay. New joints. If they snot boogered these things on there, what in the devil? I've never seen such terrible welds. You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> wow. That's impressive. Impressive how terrible that is. Wow. They put those shims on there. They don't look good. Uh, we're going to give this old frame a treatment right here. It's definitely been coated. Okay. That's obvious. We got some shade tree mechanic stuff going on in multiple locations we're going to have to address. But first things first, we're going to give it a heavy dose of oven cleaner. Don't breathe this. You know, stay upwind from it. If it doubles back on you, double back on it. This stuff is... <laughs> Somebody told me what it actually is in here. <sighs> Something a jet don't want to run on. It's nasty. But this will break her down into some really good, clean stuff. <clears throat> ah, dang it, I got that wind. How did that happen? Double back on me. <clears throat> like it. <clears throat> no, I'm just kidding. It hurts. Hold your breath. You buy this stuff at the dollar store. Folks ask how long I leave it on here. Eh, a couple, five minutes. Not that big a deal. Uh, in a situation like this, this frames, it's not pitted or anything, but it's got a pretty good amount of rust on it. And it appears to have been underneath some of the coating they put on the truck. So it needs some good time to soak in there. It's not gonna hurt anything. You could put this on paint. I put it on the uh, mulchers before, put it on the 12, get some of the sap and stuff off of it. It takes it off and also takes the shine off your paint so be careful the mulcher head didn't used to be gray well it was gray then it wasn't gray and now it's not really gray again but this just this thing's helps everything out look like that you joint's been throwing a little bit of grease is that a greasable one no it is somebody's replaced that cool it's always nice when you see a serviceable u joint this never happens Oh, maybe I'll get that differential too. We got a mag diff cover and Amazon. Here's somebody's worked some magic on every brake line on this, hence the location this thing came from. Well, Karen's running out of sauce. I'm gonna have to get the plasma cutter on those things. Got a bumper and a hitch for it. What a score. So the guy that's gonna buy this bed off me is actually a buddy. And he was one of the first subscribers on the channel. I mean, two-digit subscriber. Less than 100 subs on the channel, and he was one of them. He was chatting. He lives up north. He's got himself a little snow removal business, mulching business, dirt work business. He's got a 1850-500 and a bunch of first gens. And he just so happened to be in the market for a long bed, single wheel Bradford bed. I mentioned in one of those last videos I was going to be getting rid of this one. It's actually in really good shape. It wasn't like a work truck or nothing. I'm pretty sure the guy only hauled dirt bikes in it. But I'm going to go ahead and pressure wash underneath here so it looks nice for him when he goes to install it. I don't know how the brackets and stuff are all going to come into play for him, but hopefully it all works out. They did some customizing up in there, and it just, I don't like how it's got that gap. Somebody was saying it's for the tire clearance, but those meats would clear no problem. If you had that kind of an issue put some airbags under it but i'd just rather see all the way down to the frame like i did on grandma's truck my 08 my 22 it just it sits down on the frame less to go wrong less 
stilts. She's all good and clean. Jay, I'm gonna leave the hoochie girls on there. I think I got dirt bike handlebar one of those gals in the truck. I might put it on there for you. Scrape these off. I don't know if you're a, you know, racing village kind of a guy, but she cleaned up really good. He might uh, have already taken ownership of this bed before I post this video. Well, she's not as crusty as I thought she was going to be. Obviously, the spring leaves and stuff, those things hang down low. You get a little bit gathering back here. This is that stuff I was telling you about. Just look at this cobbled together weld. What the heck? Man. If it's not sticking, clean it off. They're just bubbling up because they ain't getting penetration because there's a little bit of rust on there. I don't even... Did they try to delete on it once? I don't know. But I'll just take the plasma, cut that out right there for the hoop for the hitch, and take the big grinder and take that stuff down. Did they cut? No, the factory stuff's all still there, so that's good. But I'm waiting on said second gen. Go pick that up today. I'm gonna do a little tire swapping. But I did get the oil pan. What a, a rat attack it. Man, I hope it's okay. I need to check. Be okay. I need to get a gasket for this. I might have one in stock. They're all the same. Get the oil pan in there, and then I got a injector treatment that we're gonna try on this thing. It's going back to factory. I'm not parting it out. <laughs> I as soon as you take off a lug nut, people think you're parting it out. It's sarcasm. Flip truck. We honestly had ideas of possibly keeping this, but we had a better deal on a second gen. I think you guys might have not seen that by now. Might have seen it. I don't know. But we're going to do a little bit of repair on the frame before we cover it up. And no, I'm not talking about getting the cheapest rattle can from the hardware store. We're going to go a little bit extra with some chemicals, some stuff you don't want to breathe, and... I don't think these tires and wheels are adding value to the truck and I have a spot I think they'll go really well so I got a set of rollers over there. This is the stuff I use. You can actually buy this on Amazon. Rust cutter. It stops rust. So rather than just being your average Joe, flip a rig, do whatever, hit it with rattle can. I do got three cans of it right here. Rather than just hitting the undercoat and just letting her eat, the Duplicolor is quite a bit cheaper than the other brands. We're going to take the extra steps to get this rust to stop because if you just cover it up now, surface rust, surface rust, but if you cover it, it's still got that stuff in there and it's still eating away. So a little prevention now will go a long way. Dump it in a squirt bottle. Probably should wear gloves, but here we are. Just let her soak. This stuff's relatively expensive, so be generous, but not too generous. And we're just going to cover it up. Get the spots that critical components down there. Stuff over there. That stuff shouldn't be on the top there, but we're going to hit back here. I need to do some grinding on the back right there anyway, but let's get down in there. This is another thing. Stay not downwind from it. Opposite of downwind. Higher ground. Find it. This stuff is toxic. Now i got the whole frame that's exposed back here sprayed with it. For just for curiosity i'm going to spray it right here this was all relatively calm steel but then i pressure washed it and opened her up so we'll see what that does we let this sit for hours come back to it rumor to be it leaves description rust counter oxidizes stops oxidation prevents blah 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 blah, blah. clean before use blah blah blah, blah. wipe off once dry, you can apply primer and paint. So it pretty much leaves a prep surface if you prep it beforehand. <laughs> we'll see you in a bit. Now that I got that toxic formula baking on the frame and I'm downwind from it, let's go ahead and take these tires. Oh, gotta hurry. I like working on these Dodge trucks. Not enough of them. Got a pretty good understanding of all the ins and outs, but every day I'm still learning. I guess She Hulk was involved with this since he's, 
she said all the tightness all of it we gotta fine ditch this extension wait i need that part why it just there's no there's no reason for that tight Your teeth hurt after that? Mine do. Now, normally I wouldn't even bother with taking the tires and wheels off, but these suckers are, gotta be 18s, yep. 33, 12, 5, 18s. It's a pretty good meat right there, and it's a nice tire wheel combination. It's even got the heavy duty valve stems on it. I don't think I'm gonna be selling them. Maybe I'll put them on my own rigs, but. If I try to buy those, that's shoot the tires alone, 1500. Road bone, road bone, road one, whatever. They'd be expensive. I'm gonna show you what we're gonna put on them. Another thing, also gotta take it off there so I can inspect to see the quality of the brakes, see if they're gonna be good. Looks like it's got a brand new hub on it. I remember the guy vaguely mentioning that. Leveling kit. Pull it over on myself. Ball joints feel good. U joints good. It's got a brand new front end under it, so that's real nice. It's even got the later model upgrade. It's got a greasable U joint. I don't find it. It's got a greasable ball joint, so that's nice. Uh, hmm. Oh, brake pads. Half. Better. Better than half. I'm going to say 5 8 So those things are good. Did come with another set, but I don't think we need to change them. Here we go. You guys are going to like these. Woo. Set of Blow Tradesman factory rollers here. Don't know what your truck they came off of, but uh, they fit this one just right. I'm going to be doing welding stuff on the truck, spraying. I don't want to coat those nice ones. These ones are actually pretty weather cracked and not really good for much other than just rollers around the yard. So as soon as swap them out, we'll be waiting for that stuff to dry back there. Major inventory of lug nuts. They're all the same from back in the day till now. On the single wheel trucks anyway. They upgraded the big ones. adapter you gotta have a different one there what's that coffee from last week wrong one temperatures at your guys place today slightly cold here just right Adapter. I like how that one's just not even tight. Come on, there you. I'm talking to you. Come on. Ah, there we go. Ah, brakes are good here too. Mm-hmm. I don't hate it. I mean. It's kind of nice taking it back to factory. I learned something long ago. The more add-ons you put on a truck, the less money the truck was really worth, unless you find that one person that it's perfect for. Because by the time I'm done with this, it'll be back to a clean slate. And if I put on a set of rollers, they can take these things off, sell them for a couple hundred bucks or whatever, and put that towards some tires and wheels I actually like. 
versus selling these, which is no gain to me. I actually have a home for those, but the person I could be selling them to might not like him. He ends up just selling for a hundred bucks. Somebody else gets a sweet deal on it or whatever. But anyway, I'm just trying to open up a canvas so it's something simple. But what I'm gonna work on now, all that stuff's still toxic. I think I can take the saws all to it and snip these things off, just go alongside the frame because the factory bumper and stuff and hitch is all one nice assembly. That's got to slide over the frame, so this junk has got to go. Did I show you these welds in the last video? Look at those things. Ah, it's getting pretty good amount of material in there. Just zero penetration because the steel was nasty rusty. No nope, prep. Alright, let's get this all is all. White snow, red sky, reach up for a soul so high. Blue eyes, big cry, beware of the fox tonight. These more modern-ish hitches are kind of cool. They slide over the frame, so it sandwiches it. It does have a um, spacer on the inside, so it doesn't squish the frame well together. But it's also got this little tab that slides down to a little pocket, locks in. Kind of neat how they do something like that. You just got to get it to seat. Right there beautiful so you'll have two big bolts here one bolt down here and then one bolt up here pretty stout really and then it's just this weird piece of bent pipe holds her all up it's 2500 you shouldn't be putting too much on it but stoked to have that on there yeah boy well that stuff's still tacky so so waiting on that so i decided let's go ahead and tear the inside out and start cleaning that up i got a new cover a new cushion to go on this one and a new cover to go on the center console one where your elbow digs in while you're cruising <sighs> fairly simple to take the seat out except for they're all tied together and these two front bolts studs difficult to get to those nuts you got to get in there with a ratchet wrench and slow motion but anyway let's check this out there brake controller what a score control for your thermostat okay because i know everybody but i wish the inside of a ranch truck looked like we had no sheets in it there it is right there dirt junk everything you can imagine probably could have collected 10 bucks and change but i don't trust it i don't want to touch it just suck it up with the vacuum and go on with my day you know, in like classic rigs, when people get excited that there's jack and jack handle and stuff in it, the originals, that's kind of getting the way it is with these right here. I mean, it's a really, oh, we're missing a piece. Never mind. Unless we happen to find it. Nope. Well, I figured since I was already here and had the impact, I might as well just take out the four bolts for that seat and real deep clean this sucker. Still get that right there. If anybody wants these, they'll be in my trash. Oh, we started growing stuff. That's nice. We got a little garden underneath our floor mats. <laughs> oh, let's just take them. Look at that. Yep. We had two layers. Put that. The, the dirty ram. Oh, that one is actually new. They just double. Okay. When you get them, fellas, you get a pack that covers the whole truck. 
you'll get one for each side. So when you get them, you don't just throw them both in the passenger side. You need one over here too. Don't double stack. That doesn't help the case. Where's that at? That's missing. What the heck? Huh. All right, let's get a vacuum. I'm tired. I think I'm gonna go home now. Now, it get a little worn out. You run the orbital sander in there and it vibrates the carpet and brings stuff to the top. Actually, it was doing pretty good, but where's you out quick? Man, she's coming around though. I'm gonna take this out, but I think what I'm gonna do is switch gears and work on the seats. I kind of want to see how those new seat covers and seat cushion work out get a bench set up so i can pull this apart rig's pretty simple pop these out pop your backwards tilt handle out stay on there so i can get whatever jerk and then you just pop this guy this guy that guy and that guy just like this and then that thing just comes off there Simple as that. Honestly, I think I probably got one minute in taking the cushion off and probably 15 minutes taking the seats out. Done it anyway. And I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say about 100 bucks, maybe, for the material to replace on that. This is a neat trick. No wonder why the seat was falling in on itself. The dang old rod is working on the how do you go about sliding that over now well somehow We're getting somewhere. <laughs> Never seen that before, but here we are. Oh, the spring fell out. Did that come out? I don't know. Rewind the tape. Did that fall out earlier? I don't even know. We'll get that on here in a second. There, now your seat's back. Fitted. This one I gotta cut out the spot for the stuff over here though. Kind of matches, it's Amazon. It ain't gonna be perfect. But it's better than it was.
you just witnessed something that only one out of maybe a thousand Dodge guys will actually do is fix on the seat. And that actually, that turned out really well. These third gens got a piece of Velcro in the seat cushion. And that's what sucks it down right there. Damn. I'm not going to lie. I think it was like 30, 40 bucks for the cover. 30, 40 bucks for the cushion. Right at $100. And it feels like a brand new seat again. Really helps having your, you know, the springs and stuff under the middle doing their job. That made a huge difference, but check her out. You can't even really tell. That thing blends in great. Whew, that thing's going to blend in with those mud flaps, floor cushions, whatever. Really well in the trash. Well, you guys ready to see the inside of this? Ha! First, I'll show you the frame. Once it gets through, it starts to look like that right there. Pretty much I'll take it to bare steel. There's a couple spots that's starting to show face on. I went ahead and gave her another coat because that stuff's pretty thick. Second coat didn't need to be as thick as the first one. Definitely going to have to do something about this exhaust. I don't even... It needs to be kicked out. That axle dump stuff is... Yep. It's loud and annoying. Check her out on the inside. That carpet came right back around. I'm going to run up the house before the night's out. And I'm going to get a bunch of... Uh, I use fabric softener from like the dollar store. It's actually got a pretty nice smell to it. And you just spray that in real heavy. Any of that old school odor that's been baking in here since the truck was new. It uh, goes down into it. Makes the truck smell a little bit nicer. I'm gonna throw this in the middle of the video. This is definitely filmed afterwards. But look what I found in the dash here. Remote control engine starter. I've never seen one of those on a third gen, so comment below if your truck's got one of those. Uh, most of all the third gens I've gotten and spent much time on, they've all had manual trans, so that was never an option. Just go ahead and show you guys. After a little bit of TLC, a couple dollars spent on Amazon, Looking like a brand new truck. Oh, it's getting cold out here and I catch my breath. Went ahead and popped this out, pressure washed it. The cup holder, popped it, pressure washed it. These things, they get something nasty going in them. You know, they spill one soda and it just attracts more spillage, but those are all cleaned out. Popped that out, washed it down. Give everything a good rinsing. Uh oh. We gotta fix that. There we go. We are getting quite a bit better shape. Looks like a brand new truck almost in here. I like it a lot. It is. It's cold. Anyway, I'm gonna end this video here. Label it some along the lines of the complete teardown of this poor truck. I know it looks like it's in shambles here. It is not gonna be a parts truck. It's purely taking this thing back to stock. So hopefully in this next week or so. Uh, it's my birthday coming up this weekend, and my boy's birthday is right after mine, the day after. So we got obligations to party with the boy. Uh, but I'd like to go down and pick up the bed for this. And honestly, I'm digging this truck a lot more going back to factory. I don't know what it is about it. I do like factory trucks, but every once in a while you find one that look real good. And this was one of them. And I'm, I don't know why, but it's nice to see it go back to factory. The parts and stuff that are coming off of it are going to a good home. I'm happy about that. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it this far in the video, say, those tires, they look okay, but not. Comment. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.